Establishing and maintaining good defensible space drastically reduces the chances a wildfire will destroy a home, but it also increases the amount of clippings generated. The second of the three programs of the Wildland Fire Suppression Assessment District addresses that problem. And homeowners can take vegetation that they've cut, clearing their defensible space around their home, place it on the side of the road, and then our crews come by and will chip and dispose of that vegetation for no additional cost. We've also unfortunately seen the effects of both fire and the drought, and we've lost four oak trees since we moved in just six years ago. We like to keep some of the wood for burning fires in our fireplace, but then we also are left with a lot of extra wood that is hard to get rid of in just your little green waste bins. So it's great having a pile that we can just set out and have the fire department come and chip it and not have to worry about disposing that wood. The chipping program can save homeowners a lot of money and hassle, as well as provide a valuable resource in the form of mulch. If homeowners are interested in obtaining any chips that, they've, that we've produced through our chipping program, they can contact us at the fire department and we'd be happy to set them up and put them on a list to receive uh, any of the chip vegetation that we've produced through our chipping program. But mulch in the high fire hazard areas has to be properly placed. It's a compromise between drought, what do you do for the drought, and what do you do? You can't just, I mean, for drought you don't want to have everything bare dirt. And we recommend not spreading any chips directly up against the home. Um, when spreading chips around the property, we recommend a 30-foot distance from the structure itself so embers don't ignite those chips and those end up blowing into the home, creating an additional hazard. Cut vegetation is picked up once a year and needs to be placed properly at the street. For detailed chipping instructions and chipping dates, residents of the district can go to santabarbaraca.gov forward slash WFSAD.